Hello Capricorn and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's tarot reading. Thank you so much Capricorn for joining me. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. So for this week's tarot reading, I will be answering that question, will they come back? So if this question really does resonate with you, you want some clarity, some guidance, even some closure, this reading is definitely for you. So thank you very, very much Capricorn for joining me. And I also want to remind you there will be an extended available where I will be looking at the other person's point of view. I will be going a lot deeper to get in their head to understand what is going on, what are they thinking, and where are they more leaning towards the outcome. So if you want to find out what your person is thinking, there will be the first link in the description box. It will be available to purchase or to rent. Well, let's get some answers for you today, Capricorn. Will they come back? Let's have a look, Capricorn. Let's find out. Just clearing the cards. Will they come back? Behind the deck, though, Capricorn, we do have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. It's a big mental card here. You're feeling trapped, imprisoned, unable to move, unable to do anything, actually. So just remember, Capricorn, that this, this is just a mental card here. None of the swords are touching you. You can free yourself. You can free yourself. You can literally do anything. Don't feel that you cannot move, even though it may seem that you cannot very big mental car. So watch how you talk to yourself. Watch your negative thoughts. How you talk to yourself. Very, very super important. Let's have a look. Um, so we do have the lovers. Yeah, I, I feel that both of you definitely have feelings for each other. Absolutely. Like you're definitely remembering the past. You're remembering the good times. You're remembering all the wonderful moments that there were. It's like both of you are thinking about each other. You're just thinking a lot, thinking about the past. You're thinking all the wonderful things that were spent together. Let's have a look. This is you, Capricorn. So we've got the two of wands. Interesting. So it's like you've reached a crossroad and you don't know what to do here. At the same time, though, I am picking up. You kind of know what you have to do. It's like... You got to pick, do I do this or do I do that? Do I contact this person or do I not contact this person? Same time though, Capricorn, you know exactly what you have to do. It's not like you've got your head up in the clouds and you're like very confused or you're procrastinating or you're avoiding. No, if anything, you are facing this situation and you already, you already know what you have to do. Deep down, you kind of know what you want to do. But you're very torn between your thoughts and your feelings with this person. You're very torn. You have your good days and you have your bad days. Sometimes you love this person. Other days you hate this person. Sometimes you want to contact them. Other days you just want to block this person. So there's a lot of, there's like this juggling act here with the two of pentacles. Lots of twos here. Thinking a lot here. You're thinking with your head, but also with your heart. Yeah, your person's the same with the two of swords. Your person doesn't know exactly what to do. In fact, they're a bit worse because they're avoiding the situation completely because they're afraid to face the situation, afraid how you might react, Capricorn. So what do they do? They procrastinate. They avoid at all cost. They don't want to face the music. You, however, though, I guess you don't really mind what you want to do you, you're ready like if you need to contact this person you're more than willing while your person's more afraid to face the music here see both of you at the moment with the four of swords you're keeping the cards close to your chest you're not revealing your next move your person's not revealing their next move and if anything you're like keeping each other at a distance here at an arm's length you're not you've got secrets you have secrets capricorn and so does your person because there's no trust here. If anything, you're just giving a lot of vague answers. And if anything, you're keeping your mouth very closed here. Both of you are very, very shut off here in the sense you're just not talking here. 
keeping everything close to your chest. You don't want to say anything. You don't want to reveal anything. But this person, however, though, they are feeling quite abundant still towards you, Capricorn, with the Empress. They think you're they think in a way though of less abundance towards you. See, while you're you have your moments, Capricorn, where sometimes you love and you hate this person. This person, however, is thinking very highly of you with abundance, happiness, bliss. It's like they really think highly of you because think of the Empress, it's like literally all the queens wrapped up together here. So at the same time. They still have really nice feelings about you, Capricorn. They know that you are quite nurturing. They know that you're very helpful, very generous. So they do think of you as the ultimate queen, you could say. You're literally all the queens wrapped up in one. You're full of abundance and you do put the work in the relationship also in the sense that you sh you try to build a strong foundation. You try to make the relationship work. They know that. They can see that. Yeah. At the same time, though, there's mystery and secrets about your person, Capricorn, at the same time with the moon. There's been high anxiety. There's been a bit, a bit of stress. There's mystery. So stuff that you still don't know yet, Capricorn. And I feel like this is why there may have been, for example, breakup, a separation perhaps, because there's been mystery. There's been a situation where trust has been sabotaged perhaps. Maybe your person has been acting out of character and you feel like, wait a second, something's not right here. This person, they're just not acting like themselves. Perhaps you saw something on their phone you were not meant to see, and boom, everything was discovered out in the open. Yeah. So we do have the hanging man here. So this relationship, well, nothing's moving at the moment. You're not moving forward, Capricorn. You're not moving backwards. You're like stuck, suspended up in the air. You're like nothing's going on here. So at the same time with the hanging man, we need to look at the situation from a different angle now. What do you have to do? What else can you do, Capricorn, in order to resolve this situation? What is it that you have to do? What is it that you need to adapt, maybe let go, maybe sacrifice? It's all about thinking about your options and your choices. But let's have a look at the outcome. Where are you more leaning towards? In closing this reading, Capricorn, see? You want answers, but the page of cups. The page of cups does show me, Capricorn, on its own, that you still have feelings for this person and you want answers. You want to know what the hell is going on. Pages, remember, with the page of cups, it's all about messages, but these messages are going to trigger your emotions. They may be good, they may be bad, but let's get some confirmation cards. Let's find out. I will be using the Tarot of Owls to confirm this reading. Now, overall, I can definitely see why there's been a bit of a separation here, why you're so closed off. There's been mystery here, lots of mystery, secrets that your person has been keeping from you. And I feel with the Page of Cups, you want answers. That's what you want. It's like you still want to contact this person because you want to hear the truth. You want to know what, what's going on at the same time. So let me remind you, if this reading does resonate with you, there will be an extended available solely looking at the other person. So your person Capricorn from their perspective. Let's go a little bit deeper. This video is available to purchase or to rent and it'll be the first link down below. Excellent. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look. Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know, please? The lovers. What's going on with the lovers? Yeah, so the Page of Cups has come out twice here. 
right there. Page of Clubs. Yeah. So definitely messages. There's something again. I do I do feel though strongly, Capricorn, that you have feelings for this person. You and your other person still have uh, strong feelings and you want to message your person. Even your person wants to message you because there's still something that needs to be said. There's no closure here, definitely. No closure. There's still something that needs to be resolved here. And I can definitely see, yeah, still strong feelings here. Your person and you, Capricorn, you still have that feeling for each other. The two of wands. Yeah, also with the page of pentacles. So there was a message here, some form of message that kind of like got you to this moment here. You saw some message here. There was some form of revelation, uh, like a message that you saw that made you reach this crossroad with the two of wands. So now what do I do? It's like, what do I do now? What's my next step? You know what you have to do, though, Capricorn. You can't make a wrong decision, especially when the Two of Wands shows up. It shows that you're very decisive. You know, it's like you're really following your heart. The Two of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Cups here. Like I said before, with your thoughts and your feelings, your Again, sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days. The Four of Cups shows that you are a little bit bored. You're a little bit um, sad, thinking about the past, feeling a little bit melancholic here. And the thing is, though, yeah, you're going through a little bit of a sad moment here by this person's actions. The Four of Cups show, is showing The Four of Cups is showing that there is some sort of opportunity coming here to the point that, hang on a second, wait, I, I understand that you're thinking about the good days, you're thinking about the, the bad times especially, but also saying to, wait a second, there is, there is an opportunity here coming. If we look at the Two of Swords here, yet yeah, your person is stressing a lot here with the Ten of Wands. They're keeping themselves super busy in order to avoid this situation. It's like they're not, because they're keeping themselves busy, they don't want to face what's really what they need to face here. So they're procrastinating. They're at the point of exhaustion here, point of a burnout, because they don't want to face this. They don't want to face you, Capricorn. They're afraid of how you might react, how you might take this situation. They, they're actually afraid what you're going to say, what you're going to react, your reaction especially. If we look at the four of pentacles, also with the ace of pentacles here. Excellent. So the ace of pentacles does show that both of you want like some sort of resolution here. Both of you want to like start on a clean slate here, but at the same time, both of you are holding back here. You're keeping your cards close to your chest. It's time to plan. It's time to plan the next move. What are we going to do next here? The Empress, also with the Five of Wands. So despite the arguments, despite the finger pointing, the fights and that, this person still thinks very highly of you with the Empress. So this person thinks that you're very confident, generous, but at the same time, they're also remembering the setbacks, the challenges in this relationship. And the moon, if we look at the moon, what is it that you need to know right now? Yeah, Ace of Swords, you're going to get your clarity. You're going to see things for what they really are. So no more confusion, especially with this mystery. You're going to, you're going to get your answers, Capricorn. Now, a hanging man, we know that with the hanging man, nothing's moving forward. Why is that? Ah, here we go. Because we also have the King of Swords. It's necessary to communicate. Communication is necessary. Sword is pointing up here. In order to move forward, in order to get out of the hanging man, we need to communicate. But we need to communicate from our head, not from our heart. So think very strategic. Be logical. In other words, just remove the emotions from this entire situation and just think with your head here. 
Just remember, the king of swords does not play games. They just want results here. So you need to push. You need to, like, in a way, I'm saying this, corner this person and get the answers that you need. Don't let this person play games. If we look at the two of cups, yeah, you definitely want to message this person, Capricorn, because I feel like there's something that you need to say. You want to get something off your chest here. And what do we have? The two of pentacles. So the two of pentacles, this has come out twice. So you're a little bit indecisive. Like you want to message this person at the same time. You do, but then you don't. You're very conflicted what to do next. You definitely want to message them, but at the same time, you have those moments you hold back. So what should you do? Yeah. We've got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is saying, yeah, you need to communicate with this person because there's answers that you need to help you, to get that closure, to get that clarity. You've got the both, divine male and the female that have come out in this reading with the King and the Queen of Swords. This is desperately trying to push you, Capricorn, that we need communication. Very, a very important communication. And I know perhaps it can be a little bit uncomfortable, but this reading is telling you if you communicate from your head, you will get the answers that you are seeking here. Be firm, be confident, and you will get your answers here. Definitely, Capricorn. Just, just remember that yeah, the communication is definitely, definitely important here because at the same time here, because this person is avoiding you. You don't, you're not getting your answers. There's avoidance here, especially with the four of pentacles. You need to have that communication, definitely, Capricorn. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for joining me. Again, I just want to remind you, if this reading really resonated with you, there will be an extended available down below where we'll be looking at the other person's point of view. Thank you so much, Capricorn. I wish you a beautiful day, and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.